every turn. The legends will rise based on their merits. There's even pirates riding parrots. <laughs> it's the grand <laughs> tournament. So this are the boy? Uh, no, they're saying boo urns. Boo urns. Are you saying boo or boo urns? Boo! I was saying boo urns. Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and yesterday we went over the 10 best expansions of all time. Again, this is completely subjective, but if you want to check out that list, just check out yesterday's video. But again, it's completely subjective. This is my opinion. If my you love an expansion on this list, you're totally entitled to that. Although you're probably wrong because my opinion's absolute and I'm a genius. Just like, you know, Scab's Cutter Butter. It's broken, right? Anyways, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the worst of the worst, the worst expansions of all time. So starting at foot number 10, I'll go with the most recent addition to the list. I struggled. I don't really dislike a lot of these expansions. Actually, these first couple aren't particularly like horrific, but I'm going to lead off with Dark Moon Fair. Dark Moon Fair wasn't the most impactful expansion. Um, it came out, it had the corrupt mechanic, which was kind of hit and miss. It introduces Ticketus, which has been a very contested card, leads to a lot of bad experiences. But overall, for me, the reason I'm putting Dark Moon Fair on this list is the old gods have just felt like a disappointment. Pretty much all of them don't see realistic play. You see C'Thun in a lot of decks, but mostly because people love C'Thun, not because it actually increases your win rate. And I rarely ever see Nazoth, even Yogg at this point, I don't see. And Yao Shiraj is the only time I see it is when you get another Ticketus. Like that, it's just been kind of a letdown in that way. There's still time for this expansion to shine though. There's still time, it's still in standard and I'm hopeful. And I don't dislike Dark Moon Fair. There's a lot of cool stuff. I really do like the corrupt mechanic, but overall it's just been kind of lackluster. And there's been some parts that it just, you know, have been a little bit icky to me. Um, next at number nine, I'm going to have the Witchwood. The Witchwood introduced the Rush mechanic, which you can argue at this point might be a downside to the game with so much stuff having Rush making board frustrating. But overall, it was a good addition at the time. I still think it is. We've talked a lot about it. But um, for me, the Witchwood, again, wasn't the most impactful expansion. And the cards to themselves left me pretty uninspired. Just looking through like the card list um, for this video, it was just not that great. And the main thing that came out of this was like the odd and even decks, Gin and Baku. And I did not particularly enjoy either of those archetypes it would make games very linear very boring and they dominated for a year straight and they still plague wild to this day you might like your odd and even decks but personally i don't enjoy either facing them or playing them so this expansion alone for that just doesn't really make it that high on my list at number eight i'm gonna go with kobolds and catacombs a lot of people actually really love kobolds and catacombs and they're entitled to this was one of the most powerful expansions ever we had like legendary weapons if you look at the Warlock list of cards, every card in there is insane. Like every card for Warlock was just nutty. And a lot of it was nerfed too. You had Carnivorous Cube introduced to the game and yeah, Kobolds and Catacombs is one of the most powerful expansions, but to me, it was too powerful. It was too frustrating. And it led to that whole year of basically, it was Kobolds and Frozen Throne, and you were getting dominated by those decks. For me, it just rubbed me the wrong way. It's just not an expansion that I particularly love. And I'm not a huge fan of cards like Rin the Disciple that would delete your deck. It's a common theme with like Ticketus and stuff. I'm not a fan of deleting your deck. Even, even if it could be fun to do it yourself, I just, I don't love that style. It just feels bad when you don't get to play your cards. So for me, Cobalt is number eight, but again, not a high offender, not an expansion I particularly hate or anything like that. At number seven, we have a more recent addition to the list, Ashes of Outland. This expansion was an absolute and utter disaster at launch. It introduced the brand new class of Demon Hunter and it dominated like no other class or deck ever has or hopefully ever will again. We saw like 13 or 15 nerfs to the class over the expansion's time. For the most part, stuff introduced to other classes were not particularly interesting. We had like all the prime minions, which led to the mage one being nerfed because it was just ridiculous. And a lot of them haven't panned out. And a lot of stuff from this expansion just didn't pan out. It was really focused on getting Demon Hunter to get, you know, off the floor running and Oh my goodness, it did. But overall, Ash is just very frustrating experience and definitely does not have great memories of that expansion or its meta. At number six, we have One Night in Karazhan. This is an adventure that was lackluster in every definition of the word. It's promotion, meh. It's adventure content was just 
bad. It wasn't a challenging. The chest stuff was uninspired. It was like the first adventure that just wasn't really that fun to play the actual solo player content. And then the cards themselves were just a bunch of random portals and random stuff. And you had Barnes in there, a pretty toxic card, babbling book, and just, it was just a bunch of random. It felt very uninspired. It was one of the most uninspired, uninteresting adventures in every sense of the word and just didn't love it. And the arena meta sucked too. It's like Firelands Portal City. It was just not a very enjoyable experience. At number five, we have Rise of Shadows, the lackey filled, bomb warrior filled expansion with just power level, power level, power level. And I just, it has to be on my list for lackeys alone. You guys have heard me talk about it a lot. I hate lackeys. They were introduced in Rise of Shadows. They plagued ladder for the longest period as possible because the Rider Shadows came out at the very beginning of a standard rotation and they introduced more lackeys, especially the Dragon one as time went on. But overall, I just don't love the expansion. There's nothing really about Rise of Shadows that really stands out to me. And you have a lot of just broken stuff that just made the game for me it felt worse i felt like rise of shadows made hearthstone a worse game and i feel like it feels a lot better these days because rise of shadows isn't there so at least we got that the good part of it is it eventually left at number four we have the grand tournament introducing the most powerful mechanic of all time inspire where you would hero power and gain an effect as well as there was joust although not an official mechanic you would like if you would have a more expensive card in your deck and show it you would get a boost both of these mechanics were failures this expansion introduced almost nothing it gave mysterious challenger to paladin and it gave some inspired cards to get in baku decks very very farther down the road but overall the grand tournament just sucked it just wasn't great the power level wasn't great the card design was just Again, it was meh. Nothing was exciting about the Grand Tournament. And uh, yeah, it's just one of the most panned expansions of all time for a reason. At number three, I'm going to surprise some people here. I have Rostikin's Rumble, the mo one of the most panned expansions of all time for its power level. People just didn't like Rostikons. It didn't do a heck of a lot but it had a lot of cool cards. It had some cool stuff in here like John Alley, the Dragonhawk, Hexlord Malacrass, and a personal favorite of mine is a card, the Soul Flare. It was like a really sweet type of tech card where you could like fatigue your opponent with it. You could do stuff with Elysiana later down the road or shut off a Mechathune deck or naturalize for it. Like it was just a really cool card. It wasn't great by any means. And that was the thing with expansion. It wasn't that great. It didn't really do a heck of a lot. And it did bring some problematic stuff in particular Master's Call, which put Hunter at like tier one, just ridiculous level for a very long time, because it turns out if you give Hunter three mana draw three, it's pretty powerful and combination of Zul'jin and Deathstalker Rexar, it was pretty ridiculous. So I will put Rossicum's Rumble on the list pretty high for just how uninspired the expansion was, but overall it wasn't as bad, I feel like, as people remember. At number two, I'm going to put one of my most hated expansions of all time, Descent of Dragons, the most powerful overpowered expansion of all time. We had the introduction of Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, the Galakron Shaman in particular broken out the gate, as well as the Rogue Galakron pretty broken, Infinite Value and Priest, which was disgusting, and just a whole whack of broken dragons, broken cards, the most nerfed expansion of all time. You might have loved a lot of these cards, maybe, because they were crazy and OP, but for me, it just drove me up the wall. Every game just became the most ridiculous, overpowered, power creep thing where you had like no say in what was happening. You just played a bunch of broken crap and saw what happened. I mean, just look at Druid's Yasera getting a bunch of dream portals, cheating out all these insane dragons and trying to deal with it. The power level is something we had never seen before and haven't seen since just a ridiculous expansion. And I, I don't know, for me, it was just, it was just over the top. Like you look at a card like Kronks, it was just absurd in its power level. Not only is it a card that tutors, basically premium stats, but it gives you a giant taunt, deals damage, all this stuff, and it got power crept out of the game. But regardless, it was just such a crazy, over-the-top expansion, and for me, it was just too much. It was too much. I love really crazy stuff for the most part, but Descent of Dragons went way, way over the line, in my opinion. And at number one, my most hated expansion of all time. This is the expansion, the only expansion to ever make me quit Hearthstone. I actually quit for like a couple weeks. I mean, that's something for me. Um, And that is Mean Streets of Gadgetson. This expansion pissed me off 
so much. I hated the living crap out of it. Patches the pirate with charge, absurd, small time buccaneer, absolutely broken. I couldn't stand cards like Draken and Operative, the Jade cards, oh, there goes playing control, Jade Idols in the game. There was just so many issues with this expansion, it just infuriated me. It introduced like this whole tri-class thing and you had like this hand buff stuff with like Don Honcho, that didn't work. Again, you had the Jades, which is just puke, and then you had Kazakas with Highlander stuff, which got way out of control as we know as time went on. Overall, it was just the pirates being so grotesquely overpowered, control being completely taken out of the game by jades and priests getting insane support with like a dragon fire potion and a dragon and operative cabal talon priest in arena it was just an infuriating experience one of my least favorite expansions the only thing i enjoyed about it was there was a bug when the expansion went live where if you open your packs the tri-class distribution wasn't correct so if you open your packs early they gave you extra packs as compensation for that and i opened like almost a thousand angoro packs and that was pretty sweet i got a lot of dust other than that, I didn't really enjoy um, Mean Streets of Gadgetson pretty much at all. So let me know in the comments below what your least favorite expansions of all time, which ones of these you loved and enjoyed. I would love to hear it, hear your opinions. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.